Hi guys, Malk here from RCTV UK. Now, I've been looking around for a super tough quad for me to try out new stuff. After looking around here on YouTube, I found the HMB235 from the guys at Multi RC. Now, I am not exaggerating when I say this quad is super tough. If you think I am, check out the videos in my description to see some of the torture tests. I noticed UK reseller 4 had them in stock, so I ordered the frame and put together a parts list. Up for review, I have a set of the RC Impower 2206 2000 kV motors from Savile Zone. I've seen some great results from these motors running HQ's 5x4.5 props, so that's what I decided to use. 4 props had stock of the DYS SN16 ESCs, so I picked up a set of 5 for the build. I always buy one extra when buying ESCs or motors because you just never know. Also, when building lately, I have been using this cheap little PDB. Although it does not have regulators on, it does help you to keep things nice and tidy. You can always run a BEC off it if you need one. I use the X5 Pro from Hobby King to supply power to the CC3D in this build. After having such great results from this mini Savile Zone camera, and because I had one kicking around, I decided to use it accompanied by a UBAD VTX. For the flight controller, I fancied a change, so instead of installing an A32, I opted to use the CC3D running the latest firmware from OpenPilot. So one of the things that I did do in this build guys was take this connector which connects to the receiver port I'm going to be using PPM Usually this white wire here is what they're calling purple But to be honest it's very difficult to distinguish between the black and the purple And to avoid confusion the other end If I just bring the other end in the shot to avoid any confusion this end, you see what we would have had look, would have looked like, black, red, black. I've actually switched the wires around and used the white wire in port 8 or 10, I believe it is. And replaced it this end, so that when I plug into my PPM channel on the receiver, everything comes out the way it should. Building the HMB235 is made even easier by the nice videos supplied by the manufacturer. Now while it does not cover all the steps required to finish the build, it does get you to the point where you are setting up the flight controller and installing the FPV gear. There are plenty of great videos out there for this. Bruce at RC Model Reviews or Paul and Thomas from BMS Web both have great setup videos. You can find links to their channels in the description. So that wraps up this part of the video. Let's go see what I thought of the build. Hi guys, I don't want to talk too much. Sorry that uh, the workshop's a bit of a state, but we finally got a break in the weather. So I'm going to get this part of the video done and get out in the field and give it a flight test. FPV style and let you know what I think of that part of uh, the HMB235 experience. As for putting it together, everything went together really well. Everything fit and clipped into place like it should. Um, all the components are very nicely made. The hardware that comes supplied with the kit is very, very good quality. Um, I like the layout. I did actually choose at this precise moment in time to run the uh, the CC3D flight controller dead center 
of the uh, chassis and not mount my batteries in the back because the batteries that I've got actually force the CG um, too far rearward. So I'm running my battery right on the CG in the, uh, the cradle, I guess you could call it, up the top. Uh, however, um, when, I, when I've got time to refine the build slightly, I will be mounting the battery back in its correct place and putting the bulkhead in, which is included in the kit, um, so that if you do have an accident head on, it protects your flight controller and so on. But for now, that is how I'm running it. Um, I've got the Saval Zone camera just mounted up the top there, and once I've decided on the right angle, I'll be hot gluing that into place so that doesn't move. Uh, I've got my Runcan HD just wrap strapped in the front for now. This will be a good way for me to tell whether um, the craft in its current configuration has any vibration. I'm also reviewing these QAV 2206-2200kV motors. You may have noticed I made a mistake earlier and said they were 2000, but they're not. Um, these are the RC in-power motors from Saval Zone. They sent me a set of four out for review and I am uh, going to be testing those first. There's plenty of videos already out there on the internet. I'll pop a link and maybe you can click on this one here uh, and that will show you the thrust tests where I decided that I was going to run uh, the HQ Prop 5x 4.5s on my build. Um, so that that's it. I don't. I didn't want to talk too much at this point. So far, very very impressed. Um, I want to get out and fly it now. Um, using the CC3D. Just talk about that quickly before I do get out in the field. Um, the CC3D makes the integration of one shot one two five enabling very easy. Um, as part of the uh, the. The wizard that you go through to set the CC3D up, there's just a little checkbox or an icon. You click on that, it lets it know that you're running PPM and that you're running one shot 125 on these SN16 uh, SN16 air station DYS. I actually did the same thing as they do in the build video where I resoldered the wires, just makes it nice and tidy. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything that I wanted to in the workshop. As you can see, things were a bit of a mess here. I've got one or two other builds going on at the moment. Um, this is uh, the Racer X, which you see me flying at night. I'm just having a little bit of a reconfiguration with that, so that's going on. Um, I didn't want to tidy all the bench up and then have to uh, find everything, so I do apologise for things being a little bit messy in here right now. I'm going to get out this out to the field. Once I had a little fly of this, I'll give you a quick synopsis of what I thought of the flight um, and the overall experience. guys just back from the field um you may have noticed configurations uh changed ever so slightly had a couple of problems with the uh the cc3d that i've got this is one of the clone cc3ds i'm just going to make a couple of adjustments to this and then we'll have another go it's really important that whenever you're adjusting something as delicate as the CC3D that you make sure you have the right tools for the job. It might not have fixed it, but I feel a lot better. This poxy clone board had me waste half a day drifting all over the place just wouldn't set up properly tried flashing it with clean flight and it just it weren't happening i've now got the paris sirius hero 32 up in the quad so 
some of the spec in the build has changed slightly so it's my camera angle by the look of it I'm going to come back to you in a sec with some flight footage and then I'll talk about the quad in its final configuration I'm sorry for the time wasting but if you buy a cloned board this is what you're going to get so here we are at the final stage of the video um, this has already been a lot longer than I wanted it to be um, but that's just how it goes I spent half a day buggering around with that poxy clone CC3D then the weather was crap um, I finally managed to get out in a short window between the rain this afternoon and uh, have this maiden fly it this literally is the first time with it in the air um, I'm running clean flight on the Hero 32 uh, Paris Hero 32 controller uh, all I did uh, in the initial setup is I turned the level controller down to 5.7 and that's it I literally didn't touch anything else uh, the rates are going to need turning up um, so I've got a little bit of tweaking to do there but as you can see here the HMB 235 with the Paris Hero controller in it does fly really nicely. My first impressions of the uh, 2206 motors that I've got on test from Surveil Zone in this build are very good. They run really smoothly and quietly and they definitely seem to have plenty of power. There will be another video coming up solely on the performance of those motors later on. So I'm going to wrap this one up now guys, I really really am pleased with my new HMB235, money is always very tight here at RCTV UK, uh, never more so than right now. I needed to uh, replace another quad which I've sold with something that was super tough that I'm going to be able to fly the pants off and crash and hopefully not be in a position where I've got to spend money that I haven't got so that's why I chose it. I'm pretty sure from the videos I've seen and the way the build went together this really is going to be one tough mofo. I'm Mount Barnard for RCTV UK, thanks for watching, bye for now. Thank you all for watching that episode, if you'd like more maybe click on one of the video tabs up on the screen now. If you enjoyed the content please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel. You can now make a donation by clicking on the link in the description box. If you could just make a tiny donation to the channel on a monthly basis by checking that box you will be making my life a lot more bearable and you'll be securing the future of the channel. I'm Mount Barnard for RCTV UK, bye for now. Hello and welcome to RCTV UK. In this episode I will be smashing the shit out of a CC3D.